Sam, congratulations, your debut in Zimafra T10. What are your thoughts? Yeah, obviously, most important thing is that we, we got a win, um, but also nice to uh, do a knock like that for the team. Obviously, first game of the tournament, and you know, Sim T10 is exciting, and um, what a game it was. Um, you know, it kind of came down to the wire there, but um, we got the win, so that's the main thing. It was an impressive start. Uh, what, what we expected from the conditions, especially after having watched the first match. Yeah, obviously watching the first match and looking at the wicket before the game, I was, you know, I thought it was going to be low and, and skiddy, and, uh, and it was. Um, but also a little bit too paced. Um, if you bowl good balls, then you know you had to try and do well. Um, I think the most important thing with T20, uh, T10 cricket is you know, trying to limit the dot balls. Um, obviously, you're trying to score bound, as many boundaries as possible. But if you limit the dot balls, then that's successful as well. And then it looks like if you flash it uh, properly on the second space, you could easily go for a six. Yeah, sometimes you just got to close your eyes and swing. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, you're looking to hit boundaries, most important. But then from then on, you're just trying to at least um, keep that strike rate up and, and, you know, try and score as many runs as possible. Final question for me, the ending right there. Could have gone either way. What was the thinking in the team? Yeah, look, I think we just got to back our process. Um, Bowlers are going to be hit for six. Um, there's going to be drop catches. It's quite dark out there uh, in the boundaries. So, look, we just got to keep smiling, um, uh, back our process, and hopefully we come out with a win. Okay, so from me, I would like to ask um, a game of cricket, most uh, of the teams lose because of pressure. Now, this is TT. There's tons of pressure. How then do you handle yourself to know? This is a time where I hit, this is a time maybe where I ignore the ball because it's too good. So how do you handle the pressure since it is a game of pressure? Yeah, I think any game of cricket's pressure, especially when it comes down to those final moments. But the most important thing is that leading up to the game, you, you've done the work and, and you maybe talk to the coach or whatever you need to do to get the right plans in place and, and just go out there and execute your skills. And, and the most important thing is have fun. Otherwise, if you are uptight and angry, you nervous and, and you want to enjoy it so the most important thing is just backing yourself and at the end of the day you're going to win someone you've got to lose someone that's the game of cricket so it's just about doing your process and hopefully you win more times than not. Okay and for your first game what do you think maybe came out as a lesson or an outstanding thing it's your first T10 what do you think was outstanding for you today? Yeah I think it's uh, it was great fun and you know I backed my process and, and try to get as many runs as possible but also the next game is a new game so you've got to start again and obviously being in form and not saying I'm in form but um, you know T10 you, you might come off or you might not so it's it's just being happy with some days you won't score and some days you will so it's just making sure that when it is your day you, you make it your day. For me Stanley, Tim, the games will come quick and fast with regards to turnaround strategies, what are your thoughts on that one? What are the team um, approaching to make sure that uh, guys are nice and fresh for each game? Yeah, I don't think we change too much, to be honest. Um, as you say, it is quick, so you just want to be nice and relaxed and not kind of think too much. Um, obviously, every guy will, will do their different things individually, uh, but we just got to make sure that we recover well. The, pole, the pool's very cold at the hotel, so <laughs> we might jump in there, but um, other than that, I think it's just been nice and clear and, and been simple with our plans. And the final question for me, a brilliant 49 off 22. I'm sure you just sad that you missed out on the good of in the first half century. What are your thoughts in terms of your success? Because we always talk about getting accustomed to conditions, but 49 off 22, that's brilliant. How can you, what was your method and how, what would you lay your success to? Yeah, obviously you wanted to get off to a good start. Um, kind of throw the first punch at them, um, which I think we did uh, well. But also on that wicket, I thought looking to hit straight was your first option, and then naturally you look to hit square, just because it was quite skinny. Um, the slide balls were gripping a little bit as well. So for me, it was just looking to hit straight, and the square boundaries were coming. Thank you very much for your time, Terry. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.